of the most military universities you could be at that's not a military university. And uh, Coach R.C. Slocum came and got us out of, a, out of our staff rooms to say that, you know, the first tower had been hit. We're, you know, we're ball coaches in there working. And we were sitting there, and of course, we just thought it was a mishap, yada, yada, yada. And then we were actually sitting there watching when the, the second tower, when the plane went into the second tower. And that's when we knew that it wasn't an accident, this stuff was deliberate. And, um, you know, your first thought is, oh my God, this is really serious. I'm a military kid. So the first thing I think about is, we're about to, this is the real deal, and guys are about to get activated, and military bases are about to get emptied, and people are about to get deployed. Those were, those were the thoughts that were going through my mind. And, uh, you know, a lot of other things, and I'll kind of leave it at that. But there was one interesting thing, and I've got a, my hats off, kudos off for the, uh, for the, call it Aggie Land, for the Aggies. I know, I can't remember what day, was it a Tuesday that that happened? Anybody remember it was a Tuesday? It was a Tuesday? Yeah. Isn't that crazy you can remember the day? So it was, it, like I said, I thought it was a Tuesday, it was a Tuesday. And I remember on Wednesday, uh, they talked about doing something, whether we are gonna play the game on Saturday, not play the game on Saturday. And uh, they said they wanted, on Wednesday, they decided they were gonna play the game and that they wanted to do something special. And uh, they sent out an email to all the season ticket holders on Wednesday and what section they lived in, I mean, not lived in, what section they sat in to make the stadium come out red, white, and blue. This was on a Wednesday. And this was my first experience with you know, true Aggie stuff. And I'm like, are they gonna be able to do that? This is short notice. And I'm, every veteran coach in there said, you watch this, you watch this. And I'll be, be doggone on Saturday, that stadium was red, white, and blue by sections. And when I mean red, white, and blue, I don't mean there's half maroon, half red. I mean, it was done to the T. Just my hats off, but there's a big military tradition behind that university. It's kind of been a, a military university, even though it's not a military university, and they have a lot of pride in uh, you know, the armed services and all that kind of stuff. So that's one of the things that I remember about 9-11, among some of the other things that I'm not gonna share. Thanks for asking the question.